morning folks let's go do a foraging video folks aircraft one and bones yard both asked me said something to me in my last foraging video and so I thought to myself let me do one for the two of them since it was about this basically same plant bones yard asked me if there was such a thing as poke salad or is was it just a southern thing well bones yard yes is is not just a southern thing and there is such a thing as poke weed or poke salad and aircraft one, yes, I found myself a dangerous plant. But they're both one plant. So folks, this one is a wild edible and a dangerous edible. All right? So let's go find out what the heck I'm talking about. You guys see this plant right here behind me? Oh, right there. Yep. That is called pokeweed. I'll get you to a closer look and we'll identify it, all right? Here we go. We're gonna start with the stalk. See how bright red that stalk is? And then you see how the it comes out? Alternate leaves, but you see how they just come straight out of the stem and have more right there. And as you follow it up, long, long leaves right there, coming right on up. And then you see these berries let me get you there we go you see the berries right there yep even the berries are dangerous now when they're young before they turn red before the stems turn red like that that's when people eat them personally me I will never try it well, I have tried it because somebody else made it and they ate it before me. <laughs> so I ate it. But I personally do not recommend you guys ever eating it because the stem, the leaves, the berries, everything is dangerous. Especially when they turn red like that. Now, uh, in the old days, back in the 1800s, um well maybe even before that the red stock the red stock and all the berry red berries were crushed down to make dye like I said the red berries were crushed down to make dyes um, but it is a diuretic it can cause vomiting it can cause cramps so it's fairly dangerous just try and stay away from it, folks, especially if you don't know what it is and how to cook it right. I would just stay away from it. There you go, Aircraft One and Bones Yard. That's my one, or is it two in one, or one in two? Anyways, figure it out. Folks, I hope you guys like that part. I found another one. Now, you guys have seen me do a video on this next one. And I will go to it right now. Folks, you guys see that thing right there? That's mullein. So, like I said, I did an earlier video of it. So, I'm not going to go into it too in depth. But, I'm going to show it to you up close. This is a first year mullein more than likely. Because it, ha doesn't, it hasn't grown up a stock yet and everything else. So, I'm going to turn around and show you guys that one. Alright? Alright, folks. This is first year mullein. I will put all the great helpful benefits of mullein down uh, in the description below. I'll put the dangerous and the good about pokeweed down in the description below also. But as you guys can see, look at that big prominent vein coming straight out of the ground. See that? And you guys see all those little fibers right there? Oh, that makes it so soft. Some people call it cowboy toilet paper because of the softness okay but it mullein dried out or even fresh you guys can uh, steep it make tea 
and it's such a great thing for upper respiratory distress. So, that is a good plant. Those are my two plants, you guys. I hope you guys liked it. Folks, I know this was a very short video, but I wanted to get out here and do a little one since uh, it's mid mid to almost late summer. I'd say midsummer because it's the middle of July. Folks, I want to thank each and every one of you for all your great comments on my uh, foraging series so far. Sorry, I did not take anything home to cook because I am camping right now. But I wanted to do a video to help you guys out. Like I said, please go check out my friends Bones Yard and Aircraft One. Their links will be in the dis uh, description box below. Um, secondly, folks, I want to, I mean, this, this, YouTube thing has been an amazing ride for me, and I, I am going to continue to do videos, but I, it may slow down just a hair. Um, life has gotten busy, and so I appreciate you guys so much. Until next time, may all your adventures be a-okay. Alright, while well, out foraging and wandering around, I didn't even watch where I was walking. Look at this hole in there. Holy cow, I wonder what it is, is living in there. There's an exit hole over here. There's another hole over there. Holy crud. I wonder what's living here. Oh, there's another big hole over there. Oh, man. Oh, that one's got some uh, live-in signs on it. The other one at least had <laughs> had cobwebs. That one has no cobwebs. I better get my butt away from it. Maybe a badger. I don't know. There's a creek by here, so maybe.